You uh, mentioned Nucor's no layoff policy. Uh, can you talk about some of the steps Nucor t has taken during the economic downturn to, to manage costs? Well, I can in a general sense, but first I need to make sure that uh, I correct you on one point. It is not a no layoff policy. It is a no layoff practice. And it's a practice that we've been able to do since the company's formation in uh, 1968. Now, there's an important distinction between those two words of practice and policy. Policy means it's a rule, and it will always be done. A practice means that our teammates have enabled us to do it, and currently are continue to enable us to do it. And they do that okay, by bringing those levels of efficiency during those periods of downturn, finding those ways to do things better, continuously improving our operations, which in turn reduces our cost structure, allows us to make the kind of profits we need, even in the very challenging times, to keep everyone working. So I just wanted to clarify that we do not have a no layoff policy. It's not a rule, okay? It's a practice. And it's a practice that our teammates themselves allow us to continue through their work and their efforts on continuous improvement, okay? Now, in general senses, I'm not gonna get specific on what Nucor has done to reduce costs. But in a general sense, I'll make this comment. We believe in our teammates. We have a very simple, very simple management uh, philosophy. In fact, I always joke that when I retire, I'm going to write a book about Nucor's management techniques. It's going to be an extremely short book, okay, because there's really only four steps that we believe are necessary for effective management. First step, you hire the right people. And Nucor has an extremely extensive and challenging um, employment criteria. So you hire the right people. You make absolutely certain that they clearly understand what you want them to accomplish. You make sure that they have three, you make sure that they have all of the tools and resources they need to accomplish what you want them to accomplish. And that could mean training, that could mean physical tools, could mean computers, whatever. So you hire the right people, you make sure they clearly understand what it is you want them to accomplish. You make sure they have the tools and the resources needed to accomplish it. And the fourth step is absolutely the most critical. You get the hell out of their way. Because if you hire the right person, they know what you want them to do, they have everything they need to do it, they are going to do it. And all you're going to do is slow them down. That's what Nucor has done over the last 30 years to reduce our costs and keep our company as profitable as we have been over that period.